year 2019 set in, the world waited for the largest democratic exercise ever to happen, that is, the Indian national elections. For the Indian people, it meant renewing their pledge to representative democracy through exercise of sovereign choice, as they did every time during the past 68 years. For the Election Commission of India, the permanent and independent body under Indian constitution, mandated with conduct of free and fair elections. It was time again to prove its professional excellence through unbiased and flawless execution. Before announcing the poll schedule for 543 parliamentary constituencies, Commission held an unending stream of consultations with all stakeholders, covering security, communication, transportation, other logistics, and for anticipating weather and other exigencies. Commission and its officials travelled extensively to the states for review of preparedness for the mega-event and also for getting ground-level feedback from all. After all these rounds, polling was announced to be scheduled on seven dates spanning over 39 days. I would like to inform all of you that this time instead of nine phases, we have seven phases of election. The Model Code of Conduct MCC to be observed by the 668 contesting parties and 8049 candidates came into operation with immediate effect. To conduct an error-free election, extensive and customized trainings were successfully imparted to all the district election officers, returning officers and several other members of election machinery at India International Institute of Democracy and Election Management, a premier training and resource center of Election Commission of India for national and international training. In a country of more than 1,300 million people, 910 million people were registered as voters just ahead of the general election to the 17th Lok Sabha. Citizens were offered one more chance to check their names and register on the electoral rolls through special camps at all polling stations throughout the country. The net addition of voters of 76 million was possible through rigorous revision of rules and reaching out to all categories of citizens, especially women, youth, persons with disabilities and transgender. This time, 18,2646 service electors were enrolled online, recording the highest number so far. These service electors were sent postal ballots electronically so that they do not miss out their voting opportunity while performing their duty. Raise my hand and roll my name Stamp my vote, never be the same Find my voice and speak my mind Tell the world Accessible and inclusive election remain the key area of utmost precedence during this election. Election Commission of India has left no stone unturned to mark this election accessible for all, with ramps in all polling stations, braille ballot units in every EVM, committed to the spirit of no voter to be left behind. Our silent heroes perform their duties besides all odds to register the vote from every single eligible elector, whether it is for the only voter for Malong, Arunachal Pradesh or from Gir Forest of Gujarat. A fully equipped polling station was set up.
With this magnitude, diversity and complexity of demography, ethnicity and geography of Arunachal Pradesh or climatic condition of Tashigang, nothing could hold back the determined, dedicated, duty-bound poll officials. Many may not believe that the operations were led by a three-member commission backed up by a small secretariat of a little above 450 officials. Of course, the exercise was made possible by engagement of staff and security of about 12 million taken on temporary basis under the full control of the commission. Talking about the scale, there were about 10,35,927 polling stations spreading also over snow-clad mountains to distant islands and deep deserts. The latest version of 16.35 lakh electronic voting machines were used, which is a uniquely designed standalone device with one-time programmable chip. Transparency in handling the machines, stringent technical and administrative safeguards at all levels make EVM India's time-tested, trusted and secure voting equipment. All EVMs were connected with Voter Verifiable Paper Audit Trail VVPAT, at every polling station for the first time in a parliamentary election for voters' satisfaction. Nota or none of the above option was provided in every EVM. Men and material mobilization at such a large scale would be a nightmare for any event manager. There were challenges of terrain, inclement weather, absence of transport links and threats of extremists at some places which were handled bit by bit. From jets to country boats or mules and camels all were pressed to service. Polling officials carrying heavy material on the back and walking several days by foot was not an unusual sight. Engagement of technology in all parts of polling process was a distinct feature of this election, including webcasting from a large number of polling stations. Campaign by political parties was colorful, replete with mega rallies, street corner meetings and door-to-door -door campaigns filled with wit and aggression. Social media was massively used by the campaigners both positively and not so positively. For the first time in the history of the largest democratic election, a voluntary code of ethics was developed and implemented on social media as a result of a series of pragmatic discussions preceding elections. Commission and its officials maintained an eagle eye on possible violations of model code and any deviation from spending norms through numerous checks, squads and surveillance teams. A total value of cash, alcohol, drugs and other freebies amounting to Rs. 3,475.76 crore were seized. Every contesting candidate was restricted to an expenditure limit to provide a level playing field for all candidates. The rigorous monitoring of print, electronic and social media drastically reduced the prospective meanness of fake news, hate speech and paid news. Convergence of technological inputs and vigilant manpower helped maintaining the level playing field. Citizens were empowered to lodge complaint of MCC violation through a unique mobile application C-Vigil resulting in registration of 1,42,250 cases during this election. Commission's table was never free of complaints and arguments from bitter opponents, but Commission's rulings were received as the final word. The Commission dispatched thousands of central observers to the constituencies to have a direct eye on poll proceedings. Election management in 2019 distinctly revolved around the voter. Commission's flagship national program, SWEEP, the acronym for Systematic Voters' Education and Electoral Participation, played out full steam to strengthen information, motivation and facilitation among voters. Targeted interventions were organized through outreach programs like electoral literacy clubs, Chunao Patshala, Voter Awareness Forums, 
mass mobilization events like human chains, rallies, street plays and musical concerts and sports events were a common sight across the country making the national election a true festival of democracy. Voter-friendly measures, assured minimum facilities, polling stations managed by women and persons with disabilities were some of the unique features during this election. Then came the polling day when Indian voters led by women, youths, even the very old and differently able turned up, beating hot weather and harsh conditions at many places. Among them was 103 years old Shyam Sharan Negi, Independent India's first voter who has never stopped voting in any election come hail or storm. The highest ever turnout in an Indian national election was recorded this time at 67.47% compared to 66.44% in 2014. About 84 million more citizens voted in this election showcasing democracy at its best. Undoubtedly, voting emerged as the new fashion statement with voters posing in ink selfies on the social media where each single vote matters the counting process has to be flawless and most transparent the EVMs stored in strong rooms after the voting process were unsealed on a single counting day in the presence of observers political parties and media five polling stations of every assembly segment were randomly selected and EVM results were matched with VV Pat slips. In a matter of few hours, India and the world knew the shape of next government. The due constitution notification consisting names of all winning candidates was presented to the President of India by the three members commission within 48 hours of declaration of the results. Indian election receives attention not only from election managers, practitioners, public and media from within the country but also from election management bodies and media around the globe. More than 65 representatives from 19 election management bodies visited the country to witness the 17th Lok Sabha elections as part of Election Visitors Program. Conduct of the Lok Sabha 2019 election in India is another reinforcement of country's vibrant democracy. Election Commission of India is proud to have anchored this milestone in line with the glorious tradition of delivering free and fair election each time.